I want to go ahead and transition over to the migrant situation because, you know, uh, Title 42 mm -hmm. just ended uh, May 12th. And the ending of that ended the COVID restrictions of mm -hmm. the migrants coming across the border. So we know migrants come across here. They come to, in my estimation, they're coming over here to work, mm -hmm. to get away from something that was persecuting them, to get a better life, to start something new, whatever the case may be. But we as a country find that the, the migrants coming over is a, a hindrance <laughs> for many different reasons. You know, they, they've got... There's all different types of um, opinions out there about the situation. But I'm just wondering, like, right now, they thought that when Title 42 ended, there would be this explosion of, of people coming across the border. And that's not that's not what we're seeing. It's, it actually nah. went down a little bit. So what? what why are people coming? And, and why do we not want them to come? We got a whole statue in the harbor of New York. Mm -hmm. To tell all the migrants to come, big old statue. It's it's what now we're at the point where we're saying, well, we don't want these migrants to come. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got migrants to come through the Canadian border all the time. All the time. Hell, the nine eleven attackers they came through the Canadian border. They didn't come through the Mexican border, right? Yeah. You know, drugs, this and man, that stuff's already here. It's been here. It ain't going nowhere. And guess what? They go through tunnels and they fly over here and they buy boats and planes like yep. those dudes don't. Have to send poor people over here with drugs. Exactly. Like, I mean, stop looking at these movies, man. So, uh, uh, it's a problem for certain people because this country is built on immigration. This is basically what it is. That's why we have immigration policy. Now, the policy needs to be brought up to the twenty first century, but now it's just used as a tactic in politics. And why is it political? Because that's how everybody's got here. Mm -hmm. Everybody in this country's got a lineage somewhere else in another country. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Including the three of us here, and we know what our lineage is. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, and that's, that, that's a whole other topic, because we're not immigrants. <laughs> 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 we're, no. we're naturally born here. You know right. what I'm saying? So, uh, nonetheless, but that's the thing about it, is making it political. You know, Abbott and DeSantis, you know, they don't make it any better, shipping people up state. When Texas, Florida, somewhat Arizona, California, these are border border towns that are built for that. You know what I'm saying? They're built, and they understand that that's just part of what they have yeah. to do. So when you send somebody in a bus to a mm -hmm. place that's not built for that, you put them in a worse predicament. You know, you can't send a cat in shorts living in Honduras right. to uh, you know Pennsylvania right. in October. You know what I'm saying? That's not right, right. man. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's not a problem. It actually affects our economy if, you know, and I don't have the numbers here. You know, that's, Wolanda is, is a smart <laughs> one here. I don't, I don't read and do stuff like that. I just listen to people and look at social media. Uh, but uh, Florida's having, having a problem because they have no migrants to do any jobs. You know what I'm saying? The scientists are sending yep. them up, up the river. I mean, let's face it, guys. Nobody's getting out there and picking the fruit that we eat. Nobody's getting out there and doing other stuff, uh, right. menial jobs. It, it's a lot of migrant workers that do that. You don't go into a hotel room. I haven't been to a hotel where the maid spoke the language. I don't, who's going to do that? You're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, so stop talking about you don't need migrants. We need them. Yeah. You know, and uh, if you process them right, yeah, of course you want to process them right. And that's a whole nother, that, that, that's what mm -hmm. we should be talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, then, then that's a whole nother deal, but stop trying to make it a political statement and, and uh, uh, ride on it and just try to get votes on that, you know. And I understand where the frustration comes from some communities that lost jobs and, you know, right. the plant moved and the whole nine yards. But those migrants ain't taking those jobs. It's the politician telling you that they're taking the job as your enemy. You know what I'm saying? So it's all twisted. Definitely got to agree. Um, going back to the political stance on it, we have to think about the global picture. So why would we not want certain people to come here? Like, what is happening to this country? Um, as everybody knows, the Hispanic population is growing. So soon, they're going to outnumber all of us. Um, so really, when they say it's a political stance, it is It is about politics. Like you said, they're not checking the Canadian border, not checking certain borders and what they look like, a little bit lighter shade of skin. They're looking at the darker people. And why is that? And typically, what do um, people of color, where do they lean? 
they're very into the democratic process. You know what I mean? So they typically, not always, but they're more left-leaning than they are right-leaning. So with that being uh, said... Not in Texas. Yeah, well, yeah, well Texas, uh, we'll you know see if it's purple. You know you voted Abbott in? <laughs> yes. We, How yeah. do you vote <laughs> Abbott in? Let me tell you, ignorance is a thing. Ignorance is. is real. It's real, but... Ignorance is real. That county voted... You know, I, I know. I'm telling you, <laughs> ignorance is real. Teachers vote <laughs> against themselves every day. Teachers they wonder why they can't get paid. <laughs> but hold on, their own money. Yeah, right. That's the crazy. Thing. I mean, it's it's a lot. But if you talk to people and you really start educating them and understanding uh, the big picture, a lot of them are like, "Oh, I didn't think about that," or "I didn't look at it that way," or "I believe in I'm voting for this and I'm voting for that." So they don't look at it as a big picture sense. But the more you have a conversation with people, the more you try showing people voting records and what they're doing, then they start opening their eyes. You know, get get invested. A lot of them, I really do. I believe it truly is ignorance. Um, but saying it's not political, all of this is all political. It's always about money. It's about voting. It's about who's in power, um, and who we are empowering. And they're scared, and they should be. And they should be, yeah, because well, this is what is going to happen eventually. I mean, we all know what the population is is looking at and what's happening to us as a country. We're browning up. We look a little bit different than we did back in the 1800s, back in the 1940s. You know, we're now in 2000s where we got females in power, people of color in power. Um, and, and people are afraid sometimes of change. Change can be scary. Um, but here we are. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know. When they said make a get, make America great again, that should have been the topic. Like we're talking <laughs> about make America great again, right? Again, like when? Like when you taking us back? To I'm black. I ain't going no further than the '80s. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm no barely going to the '80s. <laughs> barely going to the '80s. Yeah, I don't know if I want I'm that. I'm going like the '80, '87, '80, '89. Yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah. going back Early to the Reagan 90s. years. I'm going <laughs> you know, you know, I'm a, you know. So I mean, it's just you know, you're absolutely right. It's just uh, uh, people. People don't take voting serious and don't understand the power. And it's mm -hmm. funny, especially when I talk to black people who talk about mm -hmm. not voting. And I say, they wouldn't have killed us if it wasn't important. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, what are you they wouldn't have stopped us. They talking about stopped. doing it. People, <laughs> people actually died so you can go vote. vote and now you're mm -hmm. talking about it doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Felons, it doesn't matter. When felons can't vote. Why? Felons can't vote. And they the 13th Amendment tied exactly. it up that way. So exactly. we Intentional. You know, so we can intentionally lose a vote. Right now, they're gerrymandering yep. Alabama mm -hmm. and a lot of the southern states because they know they're outnumbered down there. And that's the way they've controlled it down in the South for the longest. They gerrymandered and they lessened the vote and they're trying to do that in Georgia. And the reason Georgia became so powerful is because they're fi finally starting to let black people vote like they should in that mm -hmm. state. And it's reflecting. And that, 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 and that almost rolls us into what we're probably going to talk about next time, uh, 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 what, what, what Don Juan has been doing over there. Yeah. So it's just uh, 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 the, 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 the political fallout from migration trying to control, mm -hmm. and it falls into trying to control the vote and the whole nine yards. And, uh, and, and the population count is basically why they're doing it. That's why Latinos and Hispanics are under attack. Exactly. That's why. That's why when uh, it comes down and they start counting the census again, I'm mm -hmm. going to identify as Dominican Republic. I'm uh, I'm going to be a Dominican. Go ahead and join the Hispanic so I can be part of the big mass and the big number. Exactly. I'm, I'm joking, but that's what I mean. right. But that's what you have to. Hey, you can look kind of Honduran. I don't know. Yeah, they thought I was Honduran. I thought he was Honduran. Well, I mean, you know, when you look at the census, uh, it says black, not Latino. Yeah, well, maybe I could be. Don't say white, not can Latino. I, can, I, can I identify as black Latino no. or just call myself a Dominican? Hey. You can. Uh, I think I favor pop, Big Poppy. I think I favor him. Hey. <laughs> so I can get away with it. I'm saying right mm -hmm. now, like, the two things that, that we kind of focus on with this migrant situation that what I'm seeing from this conversation is one, they're trying to stop the political balance from being shifted, right? By stopping the migrants from coming in. But then mm -hmm. on the other side of the coin, what I'm hearing as well is we need the migrants because, hey, you're not going to pick the fruit. You're not going to be the hotel maid. You're not going to do those things. There's a, there's not even a balance between the two they're trying to they're trying to to have. It's basically like saying, hey, we willing to go ahead and let these industries die or be impacted negatively because of our political impacts that they might have. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, to your point about um the Allen shoot the Allen Texas guy uh. They're also trying to shift these people's mindset to say, you're white. Yeah, well, it's already shifted. It's already shifted. My mom worked in the, the for the state for years, and she said she used to have 
face to face argument. She retired from the state to where she'd be talking to uh, uh, Hispanic uh, uh, patrons and they'd be marking white. And she'd be like, when was Gonzalez or Rodriguez a white man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, and it's and 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 that's also falls into why they vote Republican. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a it's a, a picture painted to where, and don't get me wrong, you vote Republican, you can, mm-hmm. but there's a picture of success painted, like, hey, you know, that's a, you know, uh, uh, I'm rich, and if this rich guy's talking about fighting taxes or cutting taxes, then I'm going to vote for him. But he's not talking about cutting your taxes. Right. Talk about cutting his taxes, which is a whole different tax bracket. Mm-hmm. You know, there's no way. And somebody got to tell him, how can somebody who owns businesses and makes millions of dollars pay less taxes than you? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Makes no sense. But he still uses the same services. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's, he still gets the benefits, medical it's everybody insurance, else. and the whole nine yards. But mm-hmm. you sit up there and you vote with him because he's talking about cutting taxes and you have an argument, hey, well, he, they're going to cut taxes. They're going to cut your taxes. Who do you think is going to pay for everything? You are. <laughs> you are. Exactly. The working class. Mm-hmm. That's who. That's where the tax burden falls on if they don't pay their share. Exactly. And that's how the rich stay rich. Exactly. So, and a lot of that mythology of, you know, uh, you know, the American dream and blah, 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 they fall into that trap. But a lot of times, I tell everybody, when you vote, vote for where you're at right now. Don't vote what you're hoping to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right. Now, now, yeah, I, you know, and I got people that I know that hit a certain tax bracket, and they vote Republican because that's what they do. I understand that the business owners, I get yeah. it. Not saying I agree with everything yeah. they do, but I do get the mentality of, hey, right. you know what? I'm a business owner. I want my taxes to be lowered. It's better yeah. when the Republicans in there. That mm-hmm. makes sense to me. Yeah. But when you ain't working at HEB as an assistant manager, you know, and barely making ends meet. That's not the guy you want to vote for. No, you're not looking for you're not looking out for your best interest. Not at all. So, and that's kind of where the migration thing and the political thing falls into play, and then that, that doesn't work out to to no one's advantage when they're not voting the right way. And when I think back and I look at the culture per se, all a lot of these Hispanic people don't even understand where they come from, mm-hmm. and Spanish is not their native language. They had a native language when they were here in America, whether it was Aztec, Mayan, uh, you know, Peruvian, whatever it was, they were Indians. Yeah. Right. And they got colonized by Spain, Mm -hmm. got colonized by Portugal, you know, places that speak Portuguese and Spanish. That's why they speak those different languages. That's why those Mm -hmm. are their tongues now, because those were their uh, overseers, per se, and they're the ones that took away their religion, took away their culture, Mm -hmm. took away their language. The same things that happened to us. All of these, you know, Spain is a European country. It's a white Very country. Very European. It is, Paul Gasol is white as hell. You yeah, know exactly. They, that's where they are from. <laughs> they, Europeans came over here and took them. And now they want you to think you're one mm-hmm. of us. You're closer to us them. than you are to them. So you need to be on this side of the fence and play with us and do the things that we tell you to do because it's going to be best for you if you join this side, if you join this team. You know? So. Yeah. It's uh, it's crazy, and we like I said, we can we can talk about it all day on how the the misconception of of uh, you know uh, race comes into play. I mean, should we are black people <coughs> do the same thing? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's no no difference for any other culture. But yeah, when it comes to migration, when it comes to uh, uh, the uh, what's happening at the border, it's hard for me to. Uh, uh, understand, you know, when this is a direct attack against your culture, how are you going to vote for people that, or are you going to be in line with people who directly attack that? Yeah. They're not doing that for your best interest, your best advantage. They're doing it for political reasons and, and power. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So don't give them that power. Uh, and understand, you know, I'm not here to, you know, influence votes or say anything of that nature, right. but I am here to, you know, let's make sense out of what's happening. You know, vote mm-hmm. the way you're going to vote and the way it's going to affect you, but let's make sense out of it. Let's That's just right. not, you know, do things because we're under, uh, 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 we're thinking that we're going to be, become something that we're not or we're voting for somebody else's interest instead of voting for ours. You know and so. Exactly. Yeah. So one other thing I want to touch on real quick before we shift into the next topic, uh, as far as the migration thing goes, we know that. There are things in those other countries that is that are forcing these people to leave, whether it's, you know, they're being persecuted, whether it's crime, 
with which not having opportunities in those countries to have a better life. We are uh, putting a lot of money behind other countries and other things that are happening out there, Ukraine, mm -hmm. things like that. Why are we putting resources into those other countries to help them eliminate crime, to help them have better infrastructure, better jobs, better opportunities in their own country so they want to stay <laughs> where they mm -hmm. at? Yeah. Uh, he said Ukraine, and that, that took me a whole different scenario. I mean, you know, that we ain't got time for that in the show. But, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, you know, America's funny, man. We do things for the the reasons like to benefit us. We help people that we want to help out. Africa's been a mess for centuries. Mm -hmm. You will never hear nothing going out to Africa. You know what I'm saying? And if it is, it's I'm not saying that America doesn't help them out, but it just that's definitely isn't politicized, uh, 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 publicly put it out there or, or talked about the way it needs to be. Uh, and you, and if you're talking about like, let's say some of the the Latin American companies, Venezuela, Central America companies, some of these people where all these migrants are coming from, then it just gets wound up because like Venezuela's always kind of been uh, been kind of an enemy. It's been kind of a funny country for us, so we kind of. A side hand when we deal do dealings with them and stuff like that. I mean, but it would make sense to probably, and then to 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 probably invest some money. And I think somewhat we do, but then a lot of those countries you have a lot of you have a lot of uh, uh, corruption. Mm -hmm. So they do get money, but it ends up in one person's hands, and they become rich. They don't they don't dwindle that down. Uh, I don't think it's an easy answer. I mean, come on, all these countries that are coming, they come here why? Because they're connected. They can walk here. You know, sooner or later, they can catch a bus mm -hmm. here or whatever. You know, so you come up with a, a, a firm policy that makes sense and, and and weed out the wrong ones and keep the right ones and just make it what it is. I mean, you can't tear down the Statue of Liberty, so they're going to keep coming. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You just got to come up with better ways of doing it. And that may be a, a solve there is we may be, you know, looking to their infrastructure, but then that means we have to be – dealing with people that are honest in those governments. And I think that's a big problem of it. And then they have to believe kind of what we want to believe. I mean, like Venezuela is cool with us and then be right chilling with Russia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which then leads into Ukraine. Yeah, you know, uh, Ukraine, you don't hear, hear anybody complaining about people coming from Ukraine. The, the, no. the, 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 and I'm not saying you should, but you don't have that problem. You'll never hear... Somebody get up and say, hey, you know what, man, I don't know about all these Ukrainians come over here, man. You know, they, they're not going to do that. Right. Ukrainians got the right color. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Now, what's happening in Ukraine's messed up. Mm -hmm. You know, so not downplaying what's happening. But as we're talking migrants and immigrants and things of that nature, uh, if we fill them in there, you're never going to hear that. Right. You know, so, uh, and we're investing a lot in that war to keep mm -hmm. those people alive. And that money, the billions of dollars were thrown into that. Yeah, we could use it for someone else and do, do some some other good. But as of right now, just politically, and don't get me wrong, it's not that I'm saying that we shouldn't support <laughs> Ukraine. That's not what I'm saying at all. Mm -hmm. We're talking about just uh, uh, allocating resources. But uh, Ukraine, you know, we can't let Russia do what's happening in Ukraine, so we have to support them. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? In that situation. But Nobody's complaining about their migrants or people coming over here. And they're coming over by the droves. Mm -hmm. They got families picking up. Hell, I've seen ID channel movies already about people misusing Ukraine people. Mm -hmm. They just got here. And we already got an ID channel movie on it. Yeah. So uh, it's crazy, man. This, this migrant thing is uh, something that we do definitely need to work out. But once again, it falls back on the legislators to do the right thing.